and welcome back to the Reapers. So another video in the collection of, of videos about how to set up your HOTAS or your joystick controls for various planes. Today is the A10A, so that's an FC3 plane, Flaming Cliffs 3, which means it's fairly simple, which means setting up these controls is going to be a bit of a doddle, which is good. Uh, just a couple of things. Um, I have as my HOTAS a X56 Cytec Rhino. You will almost certainly have a different uh, HOTAS stick, but the principle should be about the same. Most sticks are similar, and as I assign um, uh, commands to buttons, I'll tell you where I'm assigning them to on the HOTAS, and you can mirror me if you wish. Uh, if you then go and watch the tutorials that I do later on, it will be useful for you if you have the same setup as me. Uh, one other thing before we start, if you have lots of planes, like I do, you see I've got lots of planes here, it's a good idea to keep the controls as uniform as possible. So if you've got a control for wheel brake, for instance, on on one plane, make sure you use that same control on your HOTAS for all of the different aeroplanes. It's a good habit to get into and um, will just make things a lot less confusing later on. So let's get started uh, from the main menu up to controls. And uh, sorry, um, that was not controls, that was options. And to controls. And uh, here on this left box, we're going to uh, choose our aeroplane, the A10 Alpha. Lovely job. Right, so the first thing is we're going to start on the axis control. So this box here, axis controls. Okay, um, now I've already got them set here because obviously I've had them set up from previously. So essentially we're just going to uh, tape straight over the top of them. So the first thing we want is zoom view. This allows you to zoom in and zoom out as if you were like focusing on something in the distance with your eyes. It's absolutely essential. Um, and so I'm, well let me explain these columns first. This is the action column, so this is the action that uh, that we're talking about. This is the category, if the action is in a particular category. This is a keyboard binding, so if you've got a keyboard uh, binding set up to the certain action. This is the left half of the HOTAS, so it's like the uh, the thrust stick side of the HOTAS. And this is the right side of the HOTAS, like the control, control stick side, okay? So um, we're going to be on the left side of the HOTAS or on the thrust stick. I've got a turny knob at the top uh, and that's what I want for my zoom view. So I'm going to double click on this box here. I'm going to turn the knob fully right then left and it's picked it up as Joy Z. OK. And then you can test it. You see it works there and that's that done. OK, next um, thrust left. This plane has two engines. Um, add joy, uh, uh, so we have to set both thrusts up so that we can control each engine in individually. So I've got the ability to split my throttle uh, in two and just move uh, like the left and the right individually. So we're going to do joystick left, move it forward, move it back, OK, and then test it. Good. And the right engine, joystick Y, move that forward, let's move it back, OK, test it. Lovely. And I'm going to connect them back together again. Bosh. <clears throat> so that's that. Next is the uh, the, uh, the rudder roll and pitch. So rudder, we're moving over to the right stick now. Now you'll probably have uh, control pedals uh, for this, for your feet, but my feet aren't very good. So I have to use the twist on the uh, on the right stick. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double click there, twist left, twist right. Just picked it up, okay. And with uh, this command, we wanna go to axis tune to get a bit more information. First thing we can see is that little red dot is slightly out from the center. Uh, that's because the joystick is a bit worn out. It doesn't settle in the metal properly anymore. So we want to use this command dead zone to, to maneuver it so that that dot is now resting in a, the dead zone, which is the flat zone, basically. So that when the joystick's resting, it's not putting any left or right rudder input in. OK. Uh, and a curve. I like to just do a nice, simple 25 curve uh, for all of my aircraft to keep them all uniform like we were talking about earlier. So that basically means over the smaller movements, uh, you get more detail, more resolution. Over the bigger movements, you get less detail, less resolution. Uh, and that means you can uh, do smaller movements for things like flying in formation and stuff like that. Okay, so OK that. And we've got roll. So we're going to double click there. Move the joystick left, move it right. OK. Test it. And axis tune, Bosch. Uh, it's nicely in the middle. OK, so we don't need dead zone. We do need a little bit of curve. So let's go to our 25 and lovely. OK. Pitch, double click, move the stick forward, move it backwards. OK, test it, tune it. It's a tiny bit out there, so we might need a bit of dead zone, just like that. Uh, curvature, 25, and there we go. 
So that's the axis done. So next we're going to start on the left, uh, the more kind of binary switches and controls on the um, on the left side of the hotel, the thrust stick. Okay, so we're going to go here and go search. And let's see, the first thing we want to do is we've got a button here that I use for changing weapons in uh, whichever plane it relates to, most of the Flaming Cliffs planes. So let's see if we can type in here change, yep, weapon change. Uh, it's on the left side of the hotel, so double click there and press the button. Job done, button one. That's that. Next, I've got my button here that I, controls, I use to control my air brake to turn it off and on, so I'm going to delete that and change and type in air break and let's come up with that so uh, it's a two-way switch I can move it up or down and so for the on I'm going to click there bind it to that off there bind it to that that's that done next I've got one for my flaps again it's a two-stage switch I can move it up or down flaps and uh, the landing position or up and I haven't got it set here for some reason but let's go and set it now uh, so flaps up whoops I just clicked it on the wrong one it's actually this one here um, uh, I should say these buttons are on the side of the, uh, the thrust stick that I'm talking about uh, let's try that again flap up and flap landing position there we go lovely there's a toggle there for flaps up or down but um, I'm not going to use that so that's the flaps done um, that's everything the only other thing I'm going to have on my um, left side of the hotel is an auto start, auto stop feature. Um, this is useful if you want to go and get, get a cup of tea or something and leave the plane starting. So I'm going to type in here auto start. Doesn't come up. Let's try uh, start. Yep, there they are. Engines start. So it starts both engines. And I've got uh, on the base of the uh, left hotel, I've got an iron switch that I can use. So I'm going to use up for that. And I'm gonna go stop. Uh, both engines stop. There. Okay, that's that. That's the uh, left side of the hotel done. That was nice and easy. Now we're gonna move to the right side. So let's look at the triggers first. Uh, I think it's fire weapon. Yep. So trigger one I want essentially is a fire weapon or, for, or uh, firing my gun basically. Um, so I want the right side of the hotel now. Double click and press trigger one. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the next is I want to set my second trigger up, which I'm going to use as the bomb release or the weapon release. Let's just type in release, weapon release. There it is. Press that button there. That's the trigger two setup. Okay. Then I've got a, a binary button on top of the con right control stick, which I usually use as uh, to lock or unlock something. So let's type a lock. Eek. Lots and lots of things there, but it's that one there. Target uh, target lock. Um, okay, so I'm going to double click on it on the right side there, press it, lovely. That's that done. Uh, now I've got three um, toggle switches on top of this hotel, so they're four-way hat switches, so you can move them left, right, up and down. Uh, the top right one I always use as trim, so let's get that on the go, trim. And I want uh, left wing down, so I'm going to press left on it. Nose down, nose up and nose right wing down bosh nice and easy okay um the one the hat switch below that i always use as my tdc control the target designated control any modern plane basically has a target designated control usually abbreviated to tdc so tdc doesn't come up with it that's useful how about target uh there it is a uh, target designate up down left uh, or right so let's start doing that um target designate down so let's press down on the hat switch left left on the hat switch right right on the hat switch and up up on hat switch Ta -da. right we're getting there nearly done uh, next uh, I've got a hat uh, four-way hat switch on the left top of the stick and I use that for center selection okay in the a10 it's an 3 paint it's super simple um, so I can't actually remember now. Uh, sensor, no, I can't remember what it's called. So I'm going to have to quickly check. Ah, I see. So I'm going to go to all, 
and um, at the top it just so happens they're in alphabetical order at the very top above A is 1, 6 and 3 they're the three um, if you like sensor modes that the A10 or shooting modes that the A10 uh, has 1 is navigational mode 6 is longitudinal aiming mode that's basically firing air to air missile and 7 is generic air to, air to ground mode and so I want to set these up I'm going to set navigation as on this four way hat switch as the left because that's just what I have it um, six missile aiming mode. I'm gonna have that on the right because that's where I have it. All my planes and air to ground mode. I'm gonna have it up. Lovely, done. Right, uh, just one more to do, which is the wheel brake now, which is you will need bound. So I'm gonna go back to search. Let's type wheel brake on. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and I've got a switch at the very front of my uh, control stick. So we're gonna go control stick here. Press it on, and that's it done. Right, that's the A10 Alpha setup. Um, I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.